What's up? What's up? Let's see. Oh, this is close. Hello, hello. Let's see here. Phillips Fan Bam Vlogs. So what's up, you guys? So I'm not sure if there will be many here right now or if they're going to come in and watch this later, but I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my favorite refinishing products. And so um, I'm going to start talking about Top Coat, Resurface Solutions, and also Midwest Chemicals. So Top Coat... Um, I just recently used and resurface solutions is one that I've been using for years. Midwest chemicals I've been using for, for years as well. And so, um, I want to go over some of the pros and cons that I've noticed from them. And also, uh, you know, some, maybe some products DIY that some, some of you may want to try out um, for some homeowners or first timers or someone who doesn't have a lot of work and doesn't want to spend the money on the refinishing products that are uh, made for professionals. And so if you want to just do it in your own home, that's another option as well. So um, the first one I'm going to bring up is called resurface solutions. I'll type it in here, resurface solutions. So if you go back on the chat replay, um, you can check it out. So Resurface Solutions is from Texas, and the contact there, his name is Kurt, Kurt or Joe, and um, the product's amazing. And it's nice, bright white, high quality finish. Uh, it's a four to one ratio, and um, four to one ratio, and you can go four one one with reducer or four one two. I've been doing like four, one, two, four, one, and four, one, one and a half. And that's um, been giving me a nice, clean, shiny product. Um, and I give one or one to two coats of their epoxy, Euro epoxy primer. And then I also do two, sometimes three coats of the top coat, which is the ISO free bright white. And that's what the four, one, two ratio, four, one, one and a half. Um, comes out real nice. The one thing that I absolutely love about resurface solutions is the, um, the fact that the overspray is like, is real light. It's like a dust. It's not, um, thick. It's not sticky. Doesn't get, if it gets on something in the bathroom, you could just wipe it off. Um, it's not something that's going to stick to it, damage fixtures, anything like that. So that's a huge plus for me. Even though you do mask off and cover up, you still want a product that's not going to damage your surrounding area um, or make you have to cover every little thing within the bathroom. And so um, that's the Resurface Solutions. Also at Resurface Solutions, you guys, I've got this Gerson uh, mask. This mask costs about the same. This is a large size. This mask costs about the same as 3M replacement filters, cartridge. Um, it's like 16 bucks or so. Don't quote me on that. It might be a little bit more with shipping, but I always will use this mask. And I just, anytime I place a new order, I order this mask because it's less expensive than me buying new filters or cartridges for my other mask. So I might have a collection of a lot of these, but it's way more cost effective. So, um, that's something for you to definitely look into. I'll put a link in the description down below uh, so you guys can get some of those. Um, let's see. Let me see here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So this is like one of my first times going live in a long time. So I know a lot of you viewers watch this at late at night or what have you. So like I said, I'm going to be doing these more frequently but I'm also putting this up for the replay so some of you guys can go back and look at it. The other product I'm going to talk about is Top Coat. Um, let's see, Top 
top coat. And uh, let me see here. Top coat is a new product that for me that I've just started recently um, trying out and it's great. The, it's not too sticky. It's stickier than resurface solutions, but this is a high solid. And so it does need to be reduced more. I did like a 411 on my video that's going to be coming out this coming week. I did a 411 and the finish still came out really nice. Um, speaking with them, they said because it's a high solid, you may want to go 412 or even 413. So I might try the 412, go gradually because I don't want a lot of runs. Um, but the 412, I think would would be real nice. This product was one of the first that I've actually sprayed and like felt the strength of the product coming out of the gun. And for refinishers, that might make more sense. Um, you can sometimes just tell when you're spraying the quality of the material and, and the top coat product was very nice. I have yet to try their actual primer, but I did use their adhesion promoter, which is great. I wiped it on. Um, you can spray it on. I know some have said when they sprayed it, it gets a little sticky around, but um, I prefer to wipe it on. In my video coming up, I wipe it on with a paper towel. Some can use like a microfiber. Some can use um, uh, some other cloth that's not going to leave debris or clump when you're wiping it on. Wiping it on. When you do wipe it on, the concern is making sure you have full coverage. So make sure you get full coverage on it. But total and the end product is amazing. And I absolutely love their industrial cleaner, their um, tub and tile cleaner. It's great. It's got a little bit of, I think, phosphoric acid in it. Um, it's not as strong as an etch, but I do feel it grab a little bit with the cleaning and it cleans absolutely great. So I would recommend getting that as part of their system uh, before um, putting on as part of your prep before before putting on the adhesion promoter and and your um, your top coat. So if I was given a choice, um, I would, it would be tough. It's very tough right now. I'm going back and forth between, between resurface solutions and top coat. Um, I'm going to have to break down the price points on it um, to see, but I'm telling you with resurface solutions, the fact that their overspray is very light and uh, more of a wipe clean, vacuum clean, uh, sweep clean, um, it's a, that's a huge plus for me. Um, top coat, I do recommend they're great. They have great technical support, both, both top coat and, uh, resurface solutions have great technical support where I have, um, contacts with the, uh, with top coat. I believe it's with a, it's a Sumter, let me see, Sumter coatings product. Um, and they have, they're very easily accessible. Uh, when it comes to any questions that you might have, um, any questions on the product, what should you order, uh, all of that. And so let's see here with, let me see, Top Coat. Top Coat. Yeah, George over at Top Coat is great. Um, he said here, the paint's a high solid, so it may need to be reduced more. Go with a 412. Worst case, go 413. That's when I let him know I really like the product and it would, and I was going 411. Um, he recommended that. So George is um, also available if you guys have any questions um, regarding the material. The third product that I use, and this is usually for custom colors. Occasionally, I'll do white um, because very rarely will I mix and match products on a job. So if I'm doing a colored wall with a white tub, then I'm gonna use Midwest Chemicals. Midwest Chemicals offers to me the best color options. Mm -hmm. And um, if I'm doing a color with a white, then I'll do both the white and the color in Midwest Chemicals. Midwest Chemicals though is really, really um, sticky. Uh, you have to make sure you cover everything up. Very strong, very thick, um, but it is a very durable, it's a very great product. Got a nice shine to it, very strong. I've gone back on jobs after to look at and the product turns out really well. You can see in my videos, I've got one video where we did um, kind of like a melon color with black. And then there's another where I did like, um, like, a, like a yellow with black. And so I do have videos of that up on Instagram and YouTube. Go check it out. Those That was a Midwest Chemicals job. Um, so I'll put that in here too. Midwest Chemicals. 
those three are my absolute favorite go-tos. Um, emergency, I will use Homax tub and tile over Rust-Oleum tub and tile. That's absolute emergency. Or if you're doing a vacant unit, I would use the Homax. I do think it's a better overall product than the Rust-Oleum tub and tile. Um, even though I use Rust-Oleum for touch-up sprays, uh, appliance spray for chip repairs, the the um, Homax to me for bathtubs, it's not a bad product. And so I do have to reduce it though. I use lacquer thinner and I will reduce it all about a 411. Uh, about a 4-1. And so um, let's see here. Hawks is what I use. Okay. I've yet to use Hawk Labs. Um, I've heard Hawk Labs is a great product. And I know they have a good fine fleck and stone fleck system, but um, I have yet to try it. Maybe I'll contact them. Hawks Lab and Napco are the two pretty popular mainstream uh, products for professionals that I have yet to use. And so what's the mixing ratio on Hawks Labs? Do you know on that? And I'll check them out. Is there someone that you speak to particularly when you order? Um, I want to see if they can maybe send me a sample and I can try it out as well. I like to try out as many products as possible so I can talk to anyone that does classes with me. I do Zoom classes, you guys, um, one half hour or one hour Zoom uh, Q&As where you guys can basically talk to me about pretty much anything reglazing, starting a business of reglazing, marketing, uh, products used, how to do a repair, what are the best um, putties, just anything that comes pricing. I've helped a lot of guys with pricing on um, when they were pricing too low, um, just kind of understanding reason with uh, getting the most for their work. And so the Q&A sessions, you guys can email me about a consultation and I do 30 minute ones and also one hour sessions. I've done quite a few. In fact, I have one I'm doing this evening. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'll put my email down below. So George, do you, where are you reglazing out of if you're still here? Um, I, I would be interested in trying Hawks Labs. Have yet to do it though. I don't know the ratio or anything like that. Um, let's see, Chicago, is that where Hawks is or is it local for you? Or do you get it shipped? And then plumber, and not plumber's putty, but um, bondos and putties. I There is a few, but the best that I've used is Evercoat. Evercoat putty is a um, type of like bondo that that's very lightweight, easy to sand, and dries very quickly. Bondo depends. Weather is a huge factor, how cold the tub is, because when you put in the cream hardener, it's like um, it catalyzes the, the putty, the Bondo, um, but it's like heat sensitive. So let's see. Do you need a license of resurfacing to buy the product? Depends on the company that you're purchasing it from. Most, um, and it also depends on your state requirements. Like here in Nevada, you don't need a license to reglaze bathtubs. Uh, there is no license. So they can't require you to have it because they don't have one to offer. So um, depends on your state. If you explain to them that your state doesn't require it and show them proof of that, they should be able to sell to you. Um, but it's not a retail product that's sold to the public. So you'd have to show that you're some type of professional that's using the product. If that answered your question, I didn't answer it in Spanish, but hopefully you understood. Let's see. Thanks for joining, Juan. So those are the, I say, three to four top products. Right now, I'm not going to lie in my truck. I have resurface solutions. Um, I do have some top coat, but I've yet to order another batch yet, which I probably will soon. Um, Make sure you have good liability insurance one. Yes, yes. I use, um, I'll put the name here. I use Hiscox. That's who I have my liability insurance through. It's through online, real easy. Um, it's anywhere from 40 to $80 um, a month, depending on how much you do gross. Uh, but it's real good, real good. Um, but I use Hiscox. 
Make sure you have your business license, liability insurance, and you, you should be good to go. And if your state requires a license, then you're going to want that as well. Usually to work in certain buildings, hotels, property management companies, they're going to require that for you to get added to their vendor list. And so um, that's one of the things I can help with going over in my um, Zoom consultations. We break down exactly what you would need if you wanted to go get into hotels, um, property management companies, things like that. So George, do you reglaze for yourself or a company? Just curious, how long have you been doing this? It's good. I like to have like um, to, to know the community of reglazers because we can all relate and share. I mean, you have to think that there's a bathtub or a shower or sink in pretty much every home, apartment, uh, every residence, there's one of them. And so uh, there's a lot of work for to be spread out. What do you use for rust stains from well water from rust stains um like in a standard bathtub they have rust inhibitors that you can use usually the the manufacturers or the suppliers there's rust inhibitors or you can just get a spray primer that um you could spray on to inhibit the rust after you sand it clean it um etch it so forth clean it out as much as you can but their rust inhibitors i don't think the best way to, just, to describe rust, it's kind of like cancer where it could go into remission and it could spread. It depends on the exposure of water. So you could get rust inhibitors and epoxy primers or Euro epoxy primers to, uh, to help with that before spraying. Um, my own company, Dynamic Surface, between been in business since 2004. Apartments mostly. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. I'm curious. I mean, you could share here or not, it's up to you, but what your price point is. Most reglazers here, um, there's different price points in, in different states, depending on how busy, how saturated the market is, and uh, the competition. So out here for apartments, you're probably looking at like anywhere from, I don't know, 300 to 400 for a bathtub. I personally charge 425 for a bathtub reglazing just without any major repairs or anything, just tub and caulking. And so um, feel free to share. If anyone else is in here that does reglazing, I'd be curious to know your pricing and what state you're in. Kind of helps with the competition. Do, do, do. 405 per tub, not in, see that's pretty good. So I'm, we're right about the same, I'm 425. Stripping, I charge anywhere from 75 to 125. Um, so it all depends. It's all relative, depending on the size of the tub, how much stripping is needed, things of that sort. But I try to give a set price before I even go out to the house, and that's it. I don't nickel and dime customers at the house. That's just, to me, that's just bad. Bad business. It's just bad vibes when you're at the house. So I stay away from that. And if I have to eat it a little bit, that's fine. If it's, you know, if I strip and it's easier than I expected, then that's fine. It balances out. That's pretty good. 405 a tub. What do you do? Tub and tile. Tub and tile, I can get up to like 650. Sometimes 750. I'm doing one tomorrow that's 750 um, for fiberglass tub wall unit. But it's a slightly oversized tub. I have to compete with hawks that change that charge 400 for tub and tile for hacks. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, but at the same time, like if you know you're better then charge more because in time, you know how it is reglazing in time, the bad work will show and then they'll need to call you. And then they're going to have to charge you more plus stripping or plus repairs. So I always just kind of stand ground when someone's cheaper. I'm like, well, see you in a few months. 400 for tub and tile holy crud no way that's that's crazy is it just you or do you have employees curious just because when you're by yourself you can easily market that you're not going to be rushing through the job 
that, you know, most companies with lots of employees, they're trying to get as many jobs in in a day. Employees get percentage usually, so they're trying to hustle and get as many through. And you can focus as a selling point as like, I'm going to take my time. Yeah, because 400 for tub and tile. With material costs, it's just not even worth it. Rustanes, what do you think about Rustoleum Topside Marine? Rustoleum Topside Marine, is that a final product or what is that? Let me look it up. Rustoleum, Rustoleum Topside Marine. I haven't used it, so it's hard for me to comment on a product I haven't used. Um, gloss White Topside, what's the nature of its use? Do they say it's for bathtubs? That's one of the things that I like, like when I'm coating an entire bathtub, even with the Home Depot stuff, a Home Max, at least it says it's made for tubs. So um, I'm looking here, Rust-Oleum, one quart, 2698. Sold, it, sold it sold at Home Depot, top side paint, wood, metal, fiberglass, says, Abrasion, weather resistant, excellent leveling UV protection. Huh. Have to see. I have to check into that. No longer use employees. They would rather be at the bar than at the job. Trust me, I know that. I had 12 employees when I was in California, and I always knew when someone would, you couldn't get a hold of on or someone uh, wasn't responding in the morning that they were either in the, the drunk tank. So it's nice actually doing it on your own. So I feel you on that one. So the top side Rust-Oleum, I'm going to look into that because it's sold at Home Depot. And maybe I'll try that on a vacant unit and just see. I'm not sure if, if it's thinned out or what or how well it sprays. I'd have to look into that. But that's interesting. Have you used it before? Works pretty good. Okay. It, it, it's cheaper. It's $27 a quart. Um, whereas the home max is for, for the bathtubs is 40, I think $48 a quart. However, I can get at resurface solutions, the catalyst and the, um, the gallon at a four, one ratio, I can get it for like 150 bucks with shipping. So, um, and I would get a lot more. I'd get probably about at least eight tubs. If I did tubs only, I'd get like eight tubs for the 150 bucks. So I'd have to see how this Rust-Oleum works, how many coats I can get out of it, if it needs to be thinned out. Do you thin it out with anything? Let's see. Hey, DP, thanks for always sharing knowledge. I was uh, wondering if you would do never do a countertop video going in detail on products and procedures. Possibly. Hey, Khalil. Um, so you guys, Khalil, he actually did a Zoom meeting with me with a consultation, and it was actually great. We shared I was able to share a lot of information with him. Um, countertops, possibly. I don't really do too many countertops. Um, you talking kitchen or bathroom? Countertop. It says, when I was first started, but I would use epoxy. It was awesome, but would yellow after a while. Yes. So Krylon, if you see my videos, Krylon tub and tiles, was it was actually a great product. I love how it, how it flowed. It was, it was a little sticky, but Krylon is an epoxy and literally would yellow real quick. I would get calls back. I'd go in and tub would be perfect shape, strong, but it would be yellow. And I'm like, why is this yellow? And it's like a uniform yellow, like the heat or the steam and the moisture. Um, or sometimes people would clean with the bleach or they would clean with just a cleaning spray. And then all of a sudden it would be yellow. And you're just like, what the heck? So definitely do not recommend epoxies because of that particularly. Um, kitchen Kitchen counter. Yeah, I mean, I've done kitchen counters. Um, I don't do them too often. Um, but if you needed help, I could definitely go over step by step with you on doing that. Um, and if you were doing it in solid color or if you were doing it in a multi spec, because that the process is a little different. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because kitchens, depending on rentals, it's tough. I mean, it's a high traffic area, but it, the product is durable. You're able to spray it thicker because it's on a flat surface. Um, but 
it just depends on the care. That's probably the biggest factor. Process-wise, I could definitely show you. Very similar to just doing a tub and tile, like a tile. You'd want to primer it, obviously prep it, clean it, primer it, spray a couple coats of an epoxy primer. And then what I would do on a counter is probably wait till the next day, let the primer dry and just lightly sand it with like a thousand grit, just knock it down and then tack cloth it and then spray your top coat. Have you been doing any tubs, Khalil? Tubs or tiles since we since we had our um, Zoom session. I'm really curious now about that topside plant paint. I um because it's used for boats. My accounts here in Chicago want 30 days net. Otherwise, they don't use you. Sucks having to wait 30. Oh. I kind of stand my ground here. There's a few builders that I work with would do net 15. Net 30 sucks. You have to have like a cycle going through before it starts to catch up with you, with it. But if they're giving you a job here or there, I tell them, nope, sorry, I won't do it then. If you're going to guarantee me work every month, then I'll do the net 30 because then it just finally catches up and it just you get a monthly pay. But if it doesn't, if they're doing it every once in a while, it's not even worth it. Which is interesting to me a lot of the times because you're providing, like we provide the service. So the payment terms should be based on what, on us, since we're providing the service. Yet a lot of people order it and then they tell us when they want to pay. I'm not, I'm not up for that. It's my service. I, I tell you when I want to pay, when I want my payment. Oh, you got to keep me posted, Khalil. I would definitely send me pictures. You can even message me. Um, if you need help when you're even on the site, if I know ahead of time. Have you had ran into many tubs with rust stains? <clears throat> yeah, surface rust all the time. Surface rust stains all the time. Metal tubs. Sand it, etch it, clean it, and then make sure you put on some type of rust inhibitor and then spray epoxy primer. So I actually might have to get off right now. I think I have a delivery. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to get off right now and then, Hey, delivery. I'm live, but all right, you guys. So I'm going to get off. Thanks for jumping in. And remember, if you want a zoom consultation, let me know. I do 30 minute zoom consultations and our zoom consultations. Uh, to go over anything, but those are my some of my top products, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.